So, ladies and gentlemen, finally able to test out recon missions with weather effects like fog, heavy rain, fire, forest fire, and also sandstorm. And uh, today, let me show you what I was able to see and what I was able to find out uh, uh, while playing that mode. And uh, how you are able to play this mode and uh, to test the things out yourself is, you know, at first you have this random battle selected over here. Uh, but you just have to click, you know, you can see this over here also inside uh, the game. Or this is a special game mode, Recon Mission. That uh, mission, yeah, that actually gives you some rewards as well if you play like, let's say, 50 battles. Um, you're able to pick up a couple premium days, so for free-to-play players, up to four premium days. Not bad, actually. First ten battles and you can get a premium day already. So, I would say use this opportunity to get yourself some free premium days. And also, special style and some directives over here if you are interested about that. But now, talking about the event itself. Uh, what we have under the recon testing, we have uh, six different maps with four different weather effects. We have forest fire that is happening on Muravanka. We have fog on outpost and fjords. We have sandstorm on sand river map and we have rain on Westfield and on Fisherman's Bay, what you are watching on the background right now. And they also say that just like random events, local weather effects influence the gameplay in various ways and are spectacular. This is what they say. Unlike random events, local weather is permanent. It exists in its designed area for the battle's entire duration. So we have the rain, as you can see from the minimap, we have the rain uh, effect on uh, Fisherman's Bay. Heavy rain effect and it is permanent in this location all the time. And as you can see, like I was looking around what is happening in the west right now i can see that enemies are inside my view range they are uh, inside my view uh, circle actually but if i look outside i can't see anything you see i can't see anything but from the minimap you can see that there are tanks moving around like pay attention right there are tanks moving around but i cannot see outside and take at the same time they cannot see inside now we have some other things over here uh, they say all local weather has a common set of effects that applies to every event uh, you know, of the type. The event's boundaries break the line of sight, you know, just uh, as I showed you, for both toes inside and toes outside. I can't see out, they can't see in. Uh, the spotting range inside of any local weather area is halved, and also the time for which vehicles inside of any local weather area remain spotted is also halved. And there are some uh, other effects like on uh, forest fire, the Muravanka, if you drive into the fire, um, it starts damaging your vehicle. Uh, if you stand in the fire or the uh, heavy rain, inside the heavy rain, your vehicle's mobility is actually uh, like kind of slippery or way more drifty. It is uh, the rain or ground resistance is uh, weaker and uh, you are able to drift a lot, like driving on ice almost, kind of or on snow. But how does it affect the gameplay? On some maps I can tell you that the, the meta is going to be very, very different. Now on Fisherman's Bay, like the uh, city is still separated, uh, separated the 1-2 um, line is still separated, so it is not going to affect uh, it that much. But the now people from the middle, uh, for example, you know, let's say if this is coming to a random battle on this map, they would not be able to snipe outside. They would not be able to snipe into the city or into the enemy base from the middle. They have to either be inside the city or they have to be on 1-2 line. Uh, one to three line and then sniping at the enemy base uh, for example so on this map uh, let's just say uh, it is not going to be affecting it that much it makes the middle area like its own mini map like it's like its own little map let's say and uh, the same can be said about uh, most of the other a random event, uh, so not random event, sorry, uh, the local weather locations as well. And by the way, I did test artillery as well. I took artillery out to see maybe artillery has the all-seeing eye. And no, artillery pretty much is useless in any of those modes when the action is happening inside the special areas. Because artillery also cannot see anything. Now, where the meta is going to be different or uh, switched up and changed is definitely Westfield. Because uh, you can see that the heavy rain section 
section on this map is in the heavy fighting area in the hull down section of this map and north west corner of the map and uh, in this battle, I just went, this was one of the first battles I played in the recon modes, and I wanted to test uh, if snipers, like where the Akbanzeri 100 is, or on the other side of this uh, fighting area, you know, the enemy base, snipers are usually going to see that. Are they able to see into this heavy rain section? And nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. So this position for snipers now, or for uh, heavy tank destroyers now, is going to be pretty much useless. And as soon as I um, dropped into it, as you can see, now I see everything that was spotted inside this heavy rain section. And I am um, able to deal damage. So what that does is, um, it basically, once again, separates this area of the game. And... Uh, like you're able to play so much more aggressively, let's say. Artillery is not able to see inside it, so you don't really have to worry about arty. Maybe only if they start blind shooting you. And as soon as I go out, I cannot see them anymore, once again, as you can see. And uh, it is just... Um, this is going to be way more ballsy over the reach line peaking, because now you do not have to worry about getting slapped in the face by FE-425 or by Jakban 100 or any Gorilla 15, you know, or any other sniper who usually is sitting at the enemy base so this actually changes this position completely now um all the heavy tanks are fighting hull down over there over peak into reach line trying to take the shots and and whatnot so this is definitely one map that will be changed a lot and uh, now maybe the other side maybe the east side the southeast side of the map will be also more important because uh, the faster you can win that the faster you can flank the heavies but how fast the heavy fights are going to be now, well, only time will tell, right? But, you know, we have to keep in mind that this is just a recontest. This is not, uh, this doesn't mean it is coming to the game. If it is coming, I don't know, maybe two years in time and with many multiple changes, we'll see, guys. Of course, we'll see. But uh, Westfield, definitely uh, interesting. Uh, I think interesting is to say it over here. Is it good? Is it bad? I believe it depends on the players and players' uh, play style. Now, next up, let's talk about Sandstorm on the Sand River, guys. And uh, let me show you something uh, very weird. So, you can see that nothing is spotted over here. Absolutely nothing spotted outside, inside. And wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. <laughs> Hello, boys. Nothing spotted, and then I start uh, receiving shots up in my ass. Like, it's absolutely nobody's business. And by the way, this Patchet is going to chase me down into this zone over here because I tried to disappear, but Patchet came into the zone to catch me with one more shot. And actually, that bastard was able to put one more shot, two more shots into me. I forgot about that. But uh, so this is uh, Sand River with the Sandstorm. Once again, the same exact effect. So we have two different areas where the Sandstorm is happening over here, up over here, and also in the south. So uh, what that could do is once again limit base sniping. Like what base snipers now only have to shoot is uh, stuff in the middle if someone is too aggressive in the middle. It makes tank destroyers move a lot more. Like all of those, most of those changes I would say, or not changes, let's say most of those maps with effects under recontesting guys to be politically correct over here uh, really affect uh, some of the tank destroying uh, play style I would say and artillery as well because you know you can't see in right artillery as well and that guy just disappeared because uh, he is moving still moving still going but disappeared into the uh, abyss yeah, let's put it that way. So also in the south, you can see this map is now like three different little maps together. And you can't uh, see, you can't play on that little mini map unless you are inside it or outside the zone. So this is how the um, sandstorm effect looks like. And here we are able to do this. We are able to take a shot into phase one. I'm getting spotted, but pulling back and uh, I'm not spotted uh, in five seconds. So basically... I am already uh, invisible for this uh, phase one before I finish reloading my gun. So this is the uh, spotting advantage. And I had Judas on the left of me. I do not have to worry about getting shot from the middle uh, because the middle cannot see me. Uh, moving on to the next map. 
And let's talk about Moravanka, where we have some forest fire action together with smoke. So once again, you can see that the smoke uh, area is uh, uh, thrown out. Uh, we have the outline over there. And uh, once you drive into it, you activate this special thing. Boom, the smoke uh, complicates spotting enemy vehicles and communication of their position. Fire causes damage to the vehicles. Uh, so basically, if you drive into the fire that is uh, happening near this border where I am, your vehicle starts receiving damage uh, over some time and uh, actually quite a lot of damage. Uh, so don't try this at home unless you have some weird escaping moves or escaping maneuvers going on and if i am outside the smoke area i am not able to once again see all those guys you know those guys are driving into the smoke section i'm trying to hit that 122 tm a couple times i'm able to do that and as soon as i drive out of course you know like with any other weather effect uh, and they simply disappear. So this is simply called smoke, but it kind of has the same effect uh, on Muravanka. Now, one of the fog maps is the fjords, where we have two fog sections. So one is in the middle of the map and one is... Uh, in the uh, top uh, northeast corner of the map and uh, that northeast corner of the map actually is very big area so all the base sniping once again in the north base are not able to see what is happening over there uh, whoever wins that fight is able to sneak up all the way towards the uh, enemy base i would say the south area has a little bit of an advantage uh, uh, fighting over here because you are uh, up on the hill you can be better hulled down so uh, this uh, feels to be quite imbalanced and also uh, the uh, uh, south uh, map seems to be very strong because the spotting hill on this map which is you know where i'm looking at right now for the south spawn is still outside the fork so you're able to get uh, the enemy base spots still in, which is kind of unbalanced in my opinion. But everything inside the uh, fog is hidden, even for the artillery, as I talked about that before. Uh, I have not been able to play too many times uh, on this map. I was able to play once uh, more, but uh, my PC actually crashed uh, while I was on this, uh, on this map and in the northern uh, fog zone. So this is uh, Fjords and uh, finally let's go into a full gameplay battle which I had on uh, Outpost guys. So over here we have one big fog area and that is in the middle of the map uh, which uh, I don't know how much it is going to affect the gameplay. Like it makes light tanks job maybe a little bit more tricky. Light tanks now have to be in the south east corner of the map more over there I would say so uh, to do some spotting or uh, play towards the middle because uh, uh, play towards the middle and you know the castle area because uh, the middle section is still quite open. Uh, you are going to see a lot more action in this uh, battle in this particular battle which I'm going to uh, you know commentate live as well but i'm just over recording right now uh, because uh, you know this is the first day of testing and first hours of testing basically and people want to check it out themselves as well even with heavy tanks you are going to see some heavy tanks over here uh, so let's watch this battle and uh, then let's have our final thoughts 390 okay so right Yeah, 390, roughly, let's say. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, five seconds. That guy's five seconds. Okay. Every time I'm loaded in this tank, I'm not spotted anymore. Good. 
This fog kind of, <laughs> at least right there, kind of baits a lot of uh, heavier tanks into it. Wow, alright. Uh, pull back. They took a blind shot, right? Yeah. Who did I hit that guy? P62A. It's nice and calm over here. It is nice and calm. Very calm. Leopard is pushing hill. So we can't see Leopard who is right here. <coughs> let's go out. Let's go out of the fog and let's see what Leopard is up to. And Leopard will be visible in one and boom. Aim, Des, aim. Aim. Now, we could go up here. <clears throat> we could go up here. I really want to test if I could hit some blind shots over here. Into the guys who are inside uh, the zone. So that guy's there. And I wanna I wanna know what it tells. Even if I hit let's try to hit that guy. Oh, he's pulling back. Whoa! Oh, ha! Skill. Skillful bounce. And into the fog I go. Boom. <coughs> we still have bad shit over here somewhere. In the fog. They still have bad shit over here. I could use some help inside the fog. Bye. All right. Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't think, I don't think fog on this map will get played a lot. Let's say when this would come to the random battles. Like right now we had so many tanks over there, I believe the other flanks are going to be played more. Where there is no fog. Would make sense at least. I'm not here, 60 DP. That's not me who's shooting you, actually. <laughs> Full lame. Hey. 
Ey, 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 Let's, ey, 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 let's talk about that. <coughs> let's talk about this, mate. You should not have it appear, right? All right, good. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Some weather effects uh, under testing. Recon battle mode is where you can test them out yourself as well. Uh, overall, uh, some maps uh, change the meta, the gameplay more than others. Uh, you know, like on Outpost, I don't think uh, the heavy tanks in the north really care about that, or the snipers in the south really care about that, because the middle usually wasn't very active anyway. Maybe the fog makes it more active, but overall, I don't think it is going to change it that much. Uh, like on Westfield, for example, the north will, the meta will be completely different in my opinion on uh, the uh, fisherman's bay maybe not so much either uh, for example and uh, the forest fire the forest could get played more because of that could get played more uh, but the, the, uh, the forest really did not care about uh, too many snipers anyway uh, Sand River could be interesting. Sand River is definitely turned into a three different maps or three different map sections where uh, you have a little mini games and mini fights going. It does make life of some tanks harder, like uh, more snipish uh, tank destroyers or some play styles uh, harder if you like to sit back and snipe more than yes, uh, on, on, on those maps with the local weather you are going to have harder time and artillery at the same time as well. It's going to have less targets to shoot over there. So yeah, uh, what is your take on it guys? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, I will catch you next time with something else. Hopefully it was informative and gave you at least some kind of, of an overview of this situation. See you next time.